Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the user story. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting and especially if you have interest in project management using the Scrum or Agile methodology. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start friend. User story is a tool in Agile software development used to capture a description of a software feature from a user's perspective. The user story describes the type of user, what they want and why a user story helps to create a simplified description of a requirement. The purpose of a user story is to write down how a project will deliver value back to the end user. It is then the development team's job to take care of how to develop the code that will satisfy the requirements of the user story. In best case scenarios, developers collaborate closely with the business owners and stakeholders to clarify the details as the code gets developed. User stories do not replace use cases or technical requirements documentation. Instead, user stories can be written by product developers to help prioritize how functionality is going to be added to a project over the project time frame. A user story can be considered a starting point to conversation that establishes the real product requirement. The characteristics of a user story. A user story often follows the same format. The three components of a user story are who, this is typically a job role, customer or type of user also known as the user persona. Then what, this is the goal that the user wants the product to accomplish or implement, why, this is the reason why the user needs the feature or functionality. The end result is a sentiment like as a who I want what so that why further detail can be added to a user story by breaking it into smaller user stories and grouping them into themes. An agile user story is meant to be short, usually fitting on a sticky note or note card. The user stories should be written by the business in the language of the customer so that it is clear to both the business and the development team what the customer wants and why they want it. In some cases, user stories are also assigned a unique identifier and an effort priority level. The unique identifier is typically a number and allows developers to keep track of how many user stories there are and when they are completed. The effort and priority level is more customized to the team but is typically a range that signifies how long the feature will take, how many developers will be needed or how many requirements the feature has. Lastly, user stories should be associated with predefined acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria are used to identify the boundaries of a user story and what needs to be done in order for the story to be considered complete. This could also include any test that need to be done to verify a user story. The examples of user stories are, for example, as a user, I want to upload photos so that I can share photos with others. As an administrator, I want to approve photos before they are posted so that I can make sure they are appropriate. As a social media manager, I want to tag the photos under specific categories so that I can filter and search and photos for future use. Benefits of the user stories. User stories provide development teams with important context before a project even begins. They place emphasis on the user and focus on solving real situations a customer might face. This can help development teams think more critically and creatively. Additionally, uh, benefits of using user stories include Increased visibility and collaboration across the development team. 
better use of end user or customer feedback then can save time with prioritizing the development of requirements and functionality helps avoid restrictions that occur when specification details are defined too early on higher clarity around business value and delivering products that end users actually need there are some common mistakes working with user stories occur which are starting from a requirement document created in a non agile way and ending up with a contrived stories adding details and requirements too soon stories about to be implemented need to the greatest level of detail and clarity stories coming up soon can do with less and stories more than two or three iterations out don't need any with less and stories more than two or three illustrates out don't need any not having a conversation about the story with everyone concerned customers users developers testers business professionals before you start implementation this conversation is essential to collaboratively add the details the acceptance criteria that will prevent the rework now what is a good user story uh, first of all the good story is independent you want user stories to be independent of each other so you can freely move them around your product backlog as priorities shifted negotiable you lay down the details of a user story in collaboration between your customer and the team that will implement it this collaboration includes negotiating the scope what the implementation will and wouldn't include valuable a good user story has value to the customer which may be an internal user without that value there is no point in putting any effort into the story actually uh estimate estimable if you can't estimate a story it means you don't yet understand the scope well enough or the scope is too big to estimate easily you don't need exact estimates but when you can estimate a story it's also more negotiable plus you will be able to differentiate between valuable low efforts and not so valuable high effort stories small you want the effort to implement a user story to be small at most a few weeks by one person so many teams use a few days as their limit smaller stories are easier to estimate bigger stories are harder to estimate and thus less negotiable actually so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends